change in the health care bill really that outrageous or was it business as usual? Let's bring in our panel. Fox News contributor Monica Crowley is here. Fox radio host Alan Combs is here and Sarah Bond of the SoCal Tax Revolt Coalition. All right, Monica, let me start with you. How outraged were you here over the last couple of days when you started hearing this? Because I know you know this happens all the time. Well, yes, there's horse trading over a bill, but this is not any horse trading and this is not just any average bill. We are talking about one of the most sweeping pieces of social legislation that we have seen in decades. And in the past, when we've gone down a road with something of this magnitude, mm -hmm. whether it's social security, whether it was women's suffrage, civil rights, there was widespread public support for doing those things and also big bipartisan support in the Congress for doing those things. That doesn't yes. exist here. And so you have the incredible situation where Democrats need to buy off other Democrats to support their own bill. We're not talking about Harry Reid buying off, say, Olympia Snow, trying to pick off a Republican for this Democratic bill. He was trying to buy off members of his own caucus. And what's so outrageous is the extent and magnitude of these payoffs. This isn't just your average quid pro quo. This is buying a vote that is going to affect every single American and remake one-sixth of our economy. All right, Alan Combs, listen to this. House Majority Whip Jim Clyburn said this, uh, quote, uh, rather than sitting here and carping about what Nelson got for Nebraska, I would say to my friends on the other side of the aisle, let's get together and see what we can get for South Carolina. How about voting on the bill based on its merits, not what uh, I can get versus what you uh, got? That's the way legislation is done. It's not done just by Democrats. It's also done by Republicans. I would disagree with my good uh, friend and uh, family member, Shocking. Uh, uh, Monica Crowley, <laughs> that this is a takeover of one-sixth of the economy. I keep hearing this mantra over and over again. That was the case during the Clinton years. It wouldn't be the case if we had single pay. It would be the case if it were a government takeover. This is not a government takeover. We're talking about exchanges. This is the furthest thing from a government takeover. They have compromised so much on this to the right and moved to the right on what they originally wanted that this is not at all a takeover of the economy. This is the way legislation is done. Love it or hate it. It's done I, that I'm way. Fine. I done understand that. It wasn't way. a vote for Obama, a vote for change. Uh, the was, Wild West was ruled by a gun. Yeah, and, it was and a vote change for change, eventually. and that's exactly what this legislation is. It's getting health care for 31 million people. That's what people voted for last November, and that's why they voted Democrats overwhelmingly into office in both the House and the Senate. I want to bring Sarah Bond into this conversation. Sarah, this is not how the American people want or expect their legislative process to work, whether it's right or wrong, whether we've done it this way in the past, whether this is how you have to get legislation through. I just think people are so frustrated and now they hear this this week uh, and it, it's it's sending people over the edge it absolutely is uh, it, the the length at which they've they've gone to 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 create these backdoor deals it's really appalling and right now it's front and center for taxpayers and all of America to see and the backlash in 2010 is going to be severe you know, 60 percent of the American people opposed what the Democrats wanted to do before this process became evident to everybody. And now more and more of the American people not only hate this bill, but now they're hating the Democrats who are pushing it because of the extent of the corruption it's, here. It's not the Democrats that they hate because many of the people who are against this bill are against it on the left because it's not progressive enough. To say the 60 percent hate the Democrats for this is not accurate. But all of the Democrats are going along with this, Alan. Well, the they're voting for it because it's better than nothing. You this. think it's not better than nothing. No. But to say that 60 percent oppose Democrats is not true. Some of the people who oppose it, a large percentage oppose it They're because it doesn't go it, far Alan. enough as they well should because it's pragmatic to do that. We have midterm elections coming up, Alan. Uh, is there a, a, perceived or real, is there a problem with the Democrats right now because of things like this? Every no more single than week, usual. we Look, seem to get another issue like this. Uh, what normally happens in midterm elections, the party in power loses seats. It's going to happen next November. Is there going to be a Republican takeover of the House and Senate? I highly doubt it. They'll pick up a few seats. That's why it's important for Democrats to act aggressively now to put in the kind of reforms that people voted for them to do last November because they have the 60 seats, they have the super for majorities. Now's the time to do it. Look, I think voters are looking at this. They're seeing legalized bribery going on. They are fed up. They're already fed up before this news came to them. And what you're going to see next year is this anti-incumbent fever reach a fever pitch. All right, Dave Williams, you're still with us down in D.C. Just give me your thoughts on what we've spoken about here over the last couple of minutes. Wow. Alan mentioned that Republicans and Democrats are doing it. He's absolutely right. It doesn't make it right, though. 
It's wrong. This should not be happening with this piece yeah, of legislation. but you guys want to keep blaming Democrats. This is a partisan issue for people on the, on I the think right. It's both is sides. it I only think it's the Democrats process. do this? I think it's the you want to change now. the system? Fine. That's a whole other separate issue. This is the way legislation is done. We're seeing how the sausage is made. We're getting a bird's eye view of this. It happens all the time. We just happen it's to be privy way. to what's happening in this piece of legislation. It's it the doesn't, wrong it doesn't way make legislation it right. is made. Sarah, it's can we change way. this? I mean, can we get legislation done without this process? Because, I, uh, look, most Americans are simpletons. Let's face it. We don't know how the process most works Americans in Washington. I think we are. I think we, don't, we don't understand think how it yourself. works. Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking for myself. Listen, just, uh, right. <laughs> I'm the man of the people, all right? We're all simpletons. Okay. I don't understand they the process. They overcomplicate things. Congress always overcomplicates things. Vote it up or down. You don't need to put all this nonsense in it. And you know something? Turnabout is fair play with the constitutional question. Question. Remember the line item veto? That was ruled unconstitutional. Well, guess what? We're going after this in a constitutional manner, so turnabout is fair play. All right, Sarah, my point was yeah. that that exact fact, it seems to be overcomplicated and almost to the point where it's overcomplicated to confuse the average American so they can't figure out what's going on. You know, just, just because the process has devolved into this corrupt pork, I rub your back, you rub my back system doesn't make it right. And it doesn't mean that the American people are happy that, with what they're seeing. You know, we, we want a simpler legislation. We want more direct legislation. And the, the taxpayers are standing up and starting to say no. Uh, um, you know, you saw, you saw it in California in the special elections in May, you know, the backhanded deals that they tried to do here in this state. And the taxpayers figured it out. And across the state, we voted it down. And you're going to see this again in November. I don't see it, but I'm going to outrage everybody here, but I don't see everything here as pork. Some of these are actual needed things. Hospitals are needed. Hospitals for the indigent, great. 30% indigent in Hawaii, bill. great. Why Involved, Great. Though. You know what? This will create jobs. This you is good what? for the economy. It's good for the local economies. I don't see it as a negative. You all see it as. We I think it's actually those, good. Those should be Alan, separate issues. If you issues. wanted to support a, a hospital in Connecticut, there was the economic stimulus uh -huh. bill, nearly a trillion dollars. That wasn't about hospitals. There was $1.5 trillion in right. omnibus spending bills that were passed this Which year. Which is now working. Full of pork. Good. No, this health care bill should be strictly health care and, and not involve all these local payoffs. Communities. And American taxpayers are tired of having their hard-earned money Money, go to politicians to keep themselves in power. No, it's going quickly. to people and it's going to create jobs in these local communities. Very quickly, because I know we're going to lose you out, Monaco. Does mm -hmm. this, the, the outrage over what has happened here over the last week significantly change this bill when it goes to conference committee in January? Uh, look, I think that the liberals in the House are going to put up a real fight over government option, even though they're going to lose that battle, but they're still going to fight abortion coverage, illegal immigrant coverage. All of these things are starting to pop up. To hold this up, to hold this bill up on the abortion issue or because of illegal immigrants, they have nothing to do with this, and they want to to make this about abortion. You want to make it about it's illegal Democrats immigrants. It's Democrats doing it, and Alan. you and Republicans as, as well. It's uh, the they Democrats want, they doing it. Keep and those this conservative up, Democrats are wrong Dave on Dave Williams, issue. Citizens Against Government Waste. Good to see you. Uh, also, Thank we you. got Sarah Bond. Thank you very much. Monica Crowley and Alan Thank Holmes you. with us here. All right, on deck. What's more important than health care reform? <laughs> football, of course, for all the simpletons like me. Or at least that's what some college football fans seem to think. And yep, they're going political with it. And we want to know what you think.